This is uh, Visio 2003-2007 Electrical Systems Drawing Part 9, Creating Schedules from Reports. We'll go to where we left off. The drawing's been uh, completed in terms of drawing all the lines for the riser. Uh, this part, uh, Creating Schedules, is uh, where all the attention to detail and setting up the data fields uh, really pays off. It allows you to uh, really check the devices, make sure you've got them numbered right, um, provide a, an accurate list that's necessary for programming your system. So we'll uh, start this out by entering another sheet. Uh, insert a page. I'm going to call this one um, Device Schedules. Now, of course, all these pages should have uh, title blocks uh, and also. Um, orders. That's covered in a separate uh, video. Uh, explains how to do that part of it. Now even though we want to put our uh, device schedules on this sheet, we can go to the previous sheet, the riser diagram. And the reason for that is that we can either um, <coughs> report on the devices on all sheets or on a single sheet. And if we report on all the sheets, we'll get the devices on this drawing as well as uh, on the previous ones. So I'm going to report uh, just on the devices on the riser diagram and that way uh, it won't be duplicating the devices. So we'll go to data, uh, reports, and we're going to add a new report here and we're going to choose just the shapes that are on the current page. We're going to click the advanced button and we're going to restrict this to uh, layer name equals fire alarm initiating devices. I'm going to add that and I'll show that as a uh, defined criteria uh, for the report. And uh, we'll click OK. Go to the next. Here we're going to put the properties that we want to put um, as columns in report. Uh, we're going to choose the uh, circuit, device ID, room number, and type. Our report title will be um, fire alarm initiating devices. And we're going to uh, sort, in this case, we're going to set our column order here. We'd like to see um, the uh, circuit and device ID, then the type, moving that type up, and then we're looking at the uh, room number. Our row order, we're going to be sorting by device ID. Uh, so we want to name our report definition. Fire alarm initiating devices. I'm going to save that in the drawing and that will finish the report. Now at this point we're going to run the report. And here we have a choice. We can run it uh, as an Excel report, uh, which can work okay. Then we'll have a separate spreadsheet, which can then be inserted into the drawing. Or a little quicker is to do it as a Visio shape. I'm going to choose here a Visio shape. And the report will run. And um, as I said before, this uh, shape we generated on this page so that we could just choose the devices on the page. We've got the device uh, selected. I'm going to a uh, control X and then go to the device schedules page and hit a control V and this puts my uh, puts it right here. Now uh, one of the things that you'll notice 
is that um, we've got a few uh, issues with this schedule. Uh, first one is that uh, we see that a smoke detector, the device ID, instead of being 101, ended up being a 1. So uh, we want to go back and take a look and see where that occurred. Uh, go back here to floor 1. Uh, sure enough, we're doing 101, 102, and all this stuff, and this one here is a 001. So we can go and correct that, and then uh, we can rerun the report. There'll probably be other errors, so we're just going to correct uh, that one right there. And that way we'll be consistent. Now, maybe that you would number these start with one, in which case it would be one and two, three, four. But this is just to be consistent with the way that they were numbered. Okay, we'll go back here to our device schedules. Um, we've got a few blank lines that showed up in the beginning here. So we can double click on this and it allows us to actually do a, uh, an Excel type editing. So you could actually change the formatting and that sort of thing. We're going to avoid that and the reason is that the more work that you do on this then if you have to rerun the schedule which is the, the big advantage of this you, you've got to keep redoing uh, that work. So we can remove these lines by just selecting those and then right clicking and deleting that cleans that up. And I'm going to look down at the bottom here. And uh, one of the things is that sometimes you'll find that the, uh, the boundaries of the uh, shape may obscure the last line. We were actually seeing up to line 145. And so uh, actually we had 146 devices or numbered up to 146. So we're going to close that up a little bit. And uh, as I said, we could format, we could center these, left justify or whatever, but for right now we're just going to leave it at that. And we'll leave this. And we can take this uh, shape and just move it over to one part of the page. And we can run other reports. So we're going to look this over just a little bit, make sure that this is uh, is accurate. And this shows all of our device IDs and if you've got that the sequence isn't right or anything you can go through here and easily see if you're missing any numbers and apparently not so. Now the next thing that you do would be to uh, run another report for signaling devices, this would be done the same way. Uh, if they're not addressable, you would uh, leave out the field for device ID. And uh, running that report will give you uh, another schedule for your signaling devices. So basically, uh, that allows you to check your work, check your numbering, and provide a convenient, convenient form uh, for doing that.